Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is an old switch. Uh, it's, a, it's a C10 1981 GM Chevrolet, probably Pontiac, probably Buick, probably all of them use the same kind of switch. Uh, this is an 81, and it quit working and had a shorted fuse, and it didn't melt the, it didn't short the fuse out, didn't open it up, it, it melted, it was a bad fuse. And it took out it took out the right rear uh, dark green wire, it pinched it or whatever. It just uh, it melted the switch internally and warped it, so I didn't have any emergency brakes. And uh, fuses are important. You don't ever want to put an over amperage in. I put a 15 in, which is what it called for, but it was cheap Chinese and uh, didn't have quality control and when it went out it took out wires uh, and so I've got to fix all that and I got to fix the switch now rather than try to save the uh, the wiring and everything this it has to go through a very small opening uh, and I call it a harmonica uh, fitting it's very narrow so what I'm gonna do is I cut the wire on the switch and I'm going to tie the green and the white one there's a spot right there on the switch that's recessed and I'm going to tape tape this uh, new har uh, harmonica switch to the uh, the green and white and then use the, uh, the wires to pull the uh, the new switch in. Uh, I used to run into this with uh, windshield post mounted antennas when they'd run through a car wash. Uh, they'd snap the antenna off and uh, they wanted a replacement mass put in. Well, um, it's almost impossible to run that wire independently of uh, some help. So what you do is you you wire a uh, you uh, tape a wire real securely against the uh, um, the old lead and you pull the lead out through the antenna windshield hole and then you tie the new antenna lead to the uh, the wire that now was in place and you'd use that to pull the, the new lead in so it's the same principle I'm going to try that with this hopefully I won't get too frustrated and I'll let you know with the next video if it turns out okay thanks for tuning well, ladies and gentlemen, here's round two of the thing. The first attempt didn't work, so what I did was I tied one wire to the switch, and hopefully I can now guide it through by pulling the loom down at the bottom end. I'll let you know how it works in the next video. Thanks for